ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another Minecraft video, and today we are back on the back on the command block series. Today I'm going to teach you four other Minecraft commands that will be very useful in your command block creations. So I have four command blocks set here. I will press them and you will see what will happen. So not all of these effects. And this command is called the effect command. So let me switch to creative. As you can see here, it's effect, then the player name, or at p for example, or one of these below, then the effect speed for example, then the amount for the amount seconds, if you put 10,000, then you will have it forever until you do effect clear, then the amplifier of you want speed 2, 3 or 4, and so on, to 255, and then of course if you want to see particles or no. And then with just chain commands, I made some work. Effects. So, to clear the effect, I do effect, this carving, clear, ready. Or you can just type at p. Then, the second command. Let me take out a sword. And like you can see, it's not enchanted. And now you see, it has 5 aspect to sharpness 5 and looting 3. So, as you can see here, it's enchant, player name, for example, Mr. Curry, the enchantment, and then the level 2. There is a way of giving yourself higher enchantments, but then you need to do an enchantment ID, and you will need to search up IDs. Currently, I'm teaching you only the basics. And then, we change command blocks, we have all of the rest. And that's how you use the enchant command and the effect command. So, I can, for example, be in game mode. Survival. Going to fight a horde of zombies. Press this command block, that command block. And I have the most powerful sword. sword uh, a lot of effects to start my fight. And with the give command you can give yourself shields and golden apples and a lot of other things. Let's clear the effects and go back to the node creative. The third command is called entity data. This command is mostly used with you using the chat. The reason for that, because you can see here all of the info about the donkey here, but to make it easier, I'll just do this, and I forgot to add the slash. And now you can see in chat all of the all of the information about the donkey. So herba times stamp zero, tame zero, attributes, notebook resistant, oh, base, name, generic, max, health, base, name, generic, notebook resistant, and so on. So we just take the information about the donkey. In 1.14 and above, it's easier because it highlights the information so you can see if it's an entity data or just chat. And then the last command is the execute command. For now, for example, it's not very useful because I'm just making the simple of the way of just putting execute and then it will make the command kill at the ex at the execution thing. So, for example, the donkey. It's usually used, for example, if you have a lot of entities and you want to execute on all of the bats, or something like that. But now I just showed you a simple way of using it. So, how to use it? You need to have execute, let me move it so you can see, then the entity at E type donkey, for example, the location, 
and then the command that you want to execute on him. Kill party type donkey. In 1.13 and above, the execute command is used a little bit different, so I will show you that when we transfer to 1.13. So guys, that's about traps, about it, about four different other commands. The effect command, the chart command, the entity data command, and the execute command. So, I hope you all enjoyed, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace!